is up, America, and welcome to another Backyard and Beyond. I'm your host, Chef John, and it is a beautiful day here in the Worldwide Headquarters for Rec Tech. We're here in beautiful Evans, Georgia. It's probably about, I don't know, 65 degrees, and I am so happy to be back at work. We had a great break. Thank all of you guys for all the messages and love. I love seeing all of those awesome New Year's Day uh, preparations of the ham, the pork chops, the collard greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes, you know name it we saw it you guys did it up I'm so proud of y'all for sure but it's about new beginnings it's the new year and not just you know around the world but here at Rec Tech 2 it's all about new beginnings so we're gonna keep that train rolling and we're gonna be bringing you our absolute best recipes to turn this first beginning of the new year all the way up to a 10 so I've got an awesome awesome recipe that I'm gonna be doing for you guys today we're gonna be doing barbecued Fish. That's right. Mm -mm. So delicious. That, that's right. Now, barbecue fish isn't like barbecue sauce fish. There's really no barbecue sauce that goes in it. You're actually creating your own sauce. So when you're when they're talking about barbecuing, they're referring to the the style of cooking that you're going to be doing. But let's go through some of these ingredients. So what I have here, you can use whatever fish you want. But what I have here is some red snapper, and I have some mahi mahi. Uh, the thicker the fish, the better it's going to be for this type of preparation, all right? So then we have some lemons. I've got one onion. I've got a little bit of parsley, some thyme. We've got a little bit of uh, fish stock or fish base. Uh, I've got some olive oil. We're going to be using some of that dirty girl rub. We have some of that Asian persuasion. So delicious. A little crushed red pepper, uh, some bay leaf. Uh, we have some paprika, Worcestershire. And the secret to this is butter, all right? So we're gonna be cooking on the RT700. I've got it cranked all the way up to 500 degrees. We're burning those Kingsford hickory pellets for that delicious flavor that you know and love from Kingsford. All right, so what I did was I put a cast iron grill, uh, a cast iron skillet on the grill and let it come up to temperature. So that's what we're gonna be building our sauce in, right? So we want to go ahead and get our sauce started first because it's going to take the longest. Guys, put in the comment section. I got my J uh, boy JJ on the ones and the twos. Put in the comment section all your comments, questions, and concerns, and he will be getting to those. But I know you guys are like, Chef John, we're just amazed at that awesome shirt you have on. Y'all are loving that, right? Yeah, Sharp shaking his head. Yes, they're loving it. That's right. Well, we're going to have a special guest come on a little bit later and talk about these awesome, awesome shirts. Oh, hey, hey buddy. Hey. Look who it is. How are you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, Happy New Year. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What a coincidence. All right, let's tell them about these shirts. Yeah. Mr. Bill Taylor has these shirts available at uh, Spotify. We'll give you that address in a second. These things are awesome. They're 100 bucks a piece. He has about 100 left. These are going to be our special event shirts that we wear at uh, academies and That's also right. um, that we wear at uh, the Rec Tech Fest and things that, like that. So you can spot uh, uh, those loyal Barbecue Rec Tech fans. comp. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Bowling mm -hmm. nights. <laughs> Ripping lips. So these things, have all of our, <laughs> these things have all of our logos and all of our sayings on them. Really cool in the back. We've got the Rec Tech, of course. The Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers and the Rec Tech Icer. That's right. Uh, it's got Shoot Yeah right here on the uh, uh, corner. And uh, these, is, these are made by uh, Impact Racing, by the way. These are the shirts that a lot of the racing teams wear in the crew, That's right. in, the, in the pits. Uh, they are um, high quality shirts, uh, a zipper in the front, snap collars. Um, and what else? So they uh, range from small to 5X. They're $100 a shirt. Uh, they ship to the lower 48 states. Uh, they're available now, and all you need to do is go to rectech-crew-shirts.myspotify.com, and you can order those shirts right there. Bill Taylor over here made, had these specially made. This is his second batch. That's right. He swears, Woo! Woo! <laughs> he swears he's never doing it again. <laughs> he's starting to feel some of that Ray Carnes pain, man. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, these are really awesome, and uh, they, when you see them and, and uh, feel the quality of them, you'll be really impressed. So uh, highly recommend you get them. We'd love to see some pictures of you repping these guys on Facebook and Instagram and all social media. And also, man, if you come to Academy, we'd love to see you wearing these. We usually are going to wear these on the Friday of all right. Academy. Yeah, that's right. So uh, Friday Fridays Reds. of Academy, we'll wear these. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all of our employees, I bought some for every employee here uh, from Bill. Woo! And so, uh, yeah! 
blessed. I stepped up and bought uh, 135 of them. George, it's the <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks, guys. Enjoy this recipe, man. Do it up. All 100. right, thank you. All right. right man, good seeing you. Good seeing you, too. <laughs> Barbecue dad. Good seeing you. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. You never know who's going to show up on the show. You never know. All right, so let's get back to the recipe. Before I start, though, I want to give a quick shout-out to Oconee Brewing Company with their Esky Pale Ale. This is a delicious, delicious beer from a local beer company. They're about an hour and a half north of us, up by 20. Man, they make a fine, fine product. Shout-out to you, Esky. Mm. Oh, so refreshing. All right, so let's get back to the recipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut up this butter. Now, if you want this recipe or any other recipes you guys see us do on live shows, all you need to do is go to tech.com forward slash lunch break. Put your uh, information in, and we will email you a new recipe daily. That's right. Daily, you're getting new recipes. All right, so we're just going to cube this butter up and go ahead and get it in the cast iron. Well, John. Yeah, I got to say hello to everybody. Yeah, hello. say hey, Jordan. You're awfully quiet over there. Well, yeah, yeah. Got to let the man sell those shirts. That's baby. what I'm talking about. You heard you got a shirt, Jordan, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. I know. I'm pumped. You should I be. got it out of the bin myself. I do have a question for you. All right, hit me with it. How was your New Year's? It was great, Jordan. I had a great time. I really uh, went to bed early. I had a couple friends try to come over, and you know, I was like, you know what, guys? No, not this New Year, Ooh. you know? I'm going to take it. I'm going to keep it at the house. I'm going to make me that hashtag drink a winner by myself and curl up next to the fire. But I had a great, great New Year's. How was yours, Jordan? It was fantastic. Uh, sp spent it with my new pup. Oh, you my, got My little lady. You got a little lady, huh? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. She's the best. All right. She's All right. So we're going to go ahead and build this sauce. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some lemon juice in there. We're going to put two whole lemon juice, juiced lemons in there. <laughs> we're going to add two tablespoons of Worcestershire. I love that Worcestershire. To that, we're going to add a bay leaf. Now, I like a little bit of heat uh, with this dish. We're going to go ahead and put about two bay leaves in there. I like a little bit of heat with this dish, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some cracked red pepper in there. Now, you could omit this if you don't like heat. We'll put about a teaspoon in there. And then we're going to hit it with some paprika. Put about three tablespoons of paprika in there. So there is a level of spice to this dish. There is a little level of spice to it. Now, you can make it not, not spicy if you wanted to. So we're going to put about two tablespoons of that uh, garlic paste in there. And you can find that at your local grocery store. Shout out to your Publix. And we're going to put about a tablespoon of ginger paste in there. Now we're going to hit it with some thyme, fresh thyme. Boom, straight in. We're going to hit it with a little bit of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub, often imitated, never duplicated. Never. We're going to go with some of that Asian persuasion. This stuff is delicious, has notes of ginger. It's really, really good. We're going to go about a tablespoon. Right? Now we're going to go back onto the RT700 and let all this stuff start to come together. So, so nice. Now, this, you're going to want to let that simmer for about 20 minutes uh, and let all those flavors really start to meld together. It's going to be awesome. All right, now, while that stuff's coming together, we want to go ahead, cut an onion up. It's going to help with that flavoring of that sauce. What kind of onion are you using? Now you can use whatever onion you want. This is just a white onion. Okay. I uh, am a fan of the Spanish onion or red onion. Uh, I find that if you're trying to get onion flavor, nothing beats that. So we're just going to julienne these real quick. John is a trained professional. You don't have to cut the knot, cut the onion with such vigor, like our chef here. Well, you know, <coughs> when you've had practice, practice makes perfect. That's right. All right, so now we're going to take this onion. It's going to go straight into our cast iron skillet. That's beautiful. Now, we're just going to let this stuff simmer, like I said. Let it simmer, simmer, simmer. Now, Jordan, you have some interesting facts. I sure do. About barbecued fish. That's right. Do you want to go over them or do you want me to hit them? Hey, you hit them with them. All right. So, uh, 
Jordan came up with some great facts, and these are some good tips for you guys if y'all are going to do this barbecue fish. So the thicker fish, uh, the thicker the fish that can be uh, used uh, is better for withstanding the high heat of the temperature. That's really good. So grouper is a great fish. Um, cod would be a great fish. Snapper is a great fish. Uh, redfish would be excellent for this dish. Um, fish is a high uh, source of protein and is really low in fat. That's a great, the great tip and it also can improve heart health and lower your blood pressure so it's a healthy mm -hmm. food jordan yeah. not only is it delicious and tasty but it's also healthy good now food. jordan are you a fan of the fish generally yes generally yes but it depends on what kind of fish like i won't eat tuna of any kind i don't really like salmon either of any kind okay so no tuna and no salmon of any kind that's good to know so you're, you're a fan of what, fried fish, I Jordan? I mean, I do like fried fish, but uh, I also like, you know, f uh, broiled flounder. Oh, okay. Steamed shrimp. Okay. Uh, crab legs. I'm not mad at the that, Jordan. The more expensive the fish, the better it is. <laughs> All right, so I have a little bit of olive oil. We're just going to rub the outside of our fish, right? Now, we're using the skin on. Now, why am I leaving the skin on? Because when you're it really technically you're braising this fish, so you want the skin to kind of hold the meat together. If you take the skin off, it's going to have a tendency to flake all off. And that's not what we're looking for. All right. Now, Chef John, could you recap the temperature one more time for us? Okay, so I'm using the RT700. I have it set at 500 degrees, and I put a cast iron skillet on when I turn the grill on and let it come up to temperature. So now that we have this season with a little bit of olive oil, we're going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of that dirty girl right over the top. Now you used an onion in that cast iron earlier. Could you uh, substitute that onion with onion powder? You totally could. Okay. Shallot would be a good substitute for it too. All right, so we got the dirty girl on there. Now we're going to go back with the Asian persuasion. It's beautiful. All right, now I have the bullseye set at 475 degrees. And we're just going to go ahead and drop this fish straight onto the bullseye. Come on, shirt. I love this sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks great. So nice. All right, so now we're really just trying to kind of sear all that flavor in from the fish. And then it's going to go straight into that sauce that we've already started to build. So good. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, guys, we make sure that you're following Rec Tech on all social media because you never know when we're going to go live. And we are always doing something fun. And we have got some exciting stuff planned for 20 you are not going to want to miss out. Also, make sure you're following me, Chef Greg, and Jody on all our per personal social media. I'm Chef John Pinnell on all social media. He is Barbecue Dad Jody Flanagan and Chef Greg Muller. So definitely give us a follow. And if you have any questions for us, email us. Chef John at Rec Tech, Jody at Rec Tech, and Greg at Chef Greg at Rec Tech. We we'll love getting emails from you guys. Love hearing all the questions, comments, and concerns. Jordan, you got a question? Yes, sir. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Yes. The grill we're cooking on today. Oh, yeah, buddy. Come on in here, Sherb. Get in here tight. Let's talk about this RT700. Now, this is our flagship grill. It has been modified and re-engineered to be the precision, the top of pellet grill manufacturing. A stainless steel build, PID, Wi-Fi controller, ceramic igniter, 40-pound hopper, six-year industry-leading warranty, uh, $11.99 and ships free anywhere inside the United mm. States. I mean, this is the ultimate grill of grills, guys. Let me tell you. Amen. I'm telling you right now, can't be beat, Jordan. Cannot be beat. So why skin up versus skin down when grilling fish? Okay, well, so you're going to, eventually you're going to put it skin down, but you want to make sure that, that f the, the meat side actually gets some caramelization on there. So those grates are actually going to sear that flesh, and then you can flip it over. Because technically, when you think about it, you're not going to eat the skin most of the time. Unless you're doing like, you're going to go real high heat and get it super crispy, like on uh, certain skins, like salmon skin, you could eat that. Um, but technically, you're usually not going to eat the skin, so you really don't have to worry about it. You're really just worried about the muscle of that animal. That's a great question, though. Jordan. All right, so we're going to come back in here. I've already got one of these sauces done. Ooh, it looks delicious. So nice. Look at that, Jordan. So what is that called? Is that just a fish sauce or, I mean, what would you call that? I call it a barbecue sauce, buddy. Okay. So right, what we're going to do right. to this is we're going to add a little bit of that stock. 
Oh man, it looks great. And then we're gonna take a little bit of this coconut milk. Oh man, I wish you guys could smell the smells coming off of this thing. Very buttery, it's got a very buttery uh, Sure scent. enough, does. And then we're gonna hit it with some fresh parsley. Woo, buddy. All right, now let's come back over here and check this fish real quick, shirt. Uh, you can already see it starting to lift up on the edges. That is looking perfect. Yes, sir. So, so nice. Mmm, mmm, this is going to be so delicious. I already have a couple pieces of fish grilled off. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this back into... Now, this fish is only cooked probably 60% of the way. So we're going to put it back into this hot liquid. How good does that look? Oh, y'all know that sound. Y'all know what time it is. It is time for that Dirty Girl 420 moment brought to you by Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers, the premier cocktail mixers. Guys, if you're not using Dirty Girl Cocktail Mixers, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You're not treating yourself. Go look for them. Follow them on all social media, dgmixers.com. All right. Now, if you guys have watched any of the shows, y'all know what time it is. It's time for that hashtag drink of winner, the ultimate drink. All right, so these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a small sauce pot, right? And to that sauce pot, we're going to add some apple cider. Now, I'm going to use about four ounces of apple cider. Now, guys, when it comes to apple cider, go ahead and get the better apple cider. It's a little bit more expensive, but the unfiltered stuff is going to taste a whole lot better than that cheap stuff that you normally get, all right? Now, to that, we're going to add some of the delicious rum. Now, this is my second favorite rum, Captain Morgan. Shout out to you. But we were all out of my favorite rum, Second City Distillery Rum. Guys, if you have not gone downtown Augusta, Georgia, and checked out Second City Distillery, you're really missing out. They are a great group of people making a variety of fine, fine, fine spirits. Definitely go check them out. Tell them Chef John sent you. All right, so we're going to add four ounces of Captain Morgan's, which could be substituted for whatever fa your favorite rum is. Now to that, we're going to add a cinnamon stick, we're going to add two cloves, we're going to add a pinch of nutmeg and a pinch of allspice. That's going in. Then we have an orange, we're going to go ahead and put half of an orange in here. Perfect. A little bit of cranberry juice. and this thing is perfect. Now, typically, you're gonna to wanna to put this on any of your grills set at about 150 to 180 degrees, the super low, and you're just gonna to want to let this simmer. It's gonna simmer for about 15 minutes. You don't want it to come to a boil and evaporate all that delicious alcohol that you put in there, but you definitely want it to come to a simmer, and then you can pull it straight off. I've already got one going. Ooh, yes. Sharp, get in here and look at how delicious this looks. Man, oh man, that looks so good. All right, so into the glass this goes. Perfect, like I've done that before once or twice. Now, I know you guys are like, Chef John, you have not used any girl products yet. I thought this was a dirty girl moment. I know I haven't, just chill. So what yeah. we're gonna do is, what we have here is a CO2 charged cartridge gun. This is what it looks like, guys, right? It's pretty cool. You can find them on uh, Amazon, um, you know, totally. You can get them at Cro uh, Walmart, any of those places like that. You can totally find this. So what we're going to do to it, we're going to add some heavy cream, about three ounces of heavy cream, straight in. Perfect. Now, we're gonna add about three ounces of that delicious Dirty Girl Margarita Mix, often imitated, never duplicated. This stuff is delicious. No high fructose corn syrup, vegan, vegetarian friendly, and gluten free for all my gluten people out there. We're gonna go ahead and add three ounces. Perfect. You're like a mad scientist. I am like a mad scientist back here. 
Well, you know how the drink of uh, hashtag drink a winner was started, you know, Jordan, right? Well, you had to get in the lab and concoct something because Amanda ruined the she, drink of fall. She really did. She called me out with the drink of fall, so I had to come up with something new. So that's where this drink came from. All right, so this is the coolest part about this thing. So you remember these things from when you had like a pellet gun when you were a kid? These little CO2 cartridges, right? So we're going to put the CO2 cartridge in here. You done came up, John, from pellet guns to pellet grill. I'll tell you right now, all the way to the top. Up. All right, we're going to charge. We're going to give it a shake. And then right over the top, that dirty girl whipped cream. Mm, mm, mm. You want to take some of that? Yeah, get you some of that. And then, and then to finish it off, we're going to hit it with some of that raised warm apple pie, often imitated, never duplicated. Guys, if you have not tried our uh, rub and sauce bundle, go ahead over to rectech.com right now and order that thing. You will be so impressed. Your family will be impressed. Your friends will be impressed. Mm, mm, mm. All right, here we go. Oh, Jordan. What are we tasting? So you get the cider. So you get, it just tastes like fall in your mouth. You get that cider. You get a punch from the rum. That Dirty Girl whipped cream is cool, and that citrus from the margarita mix gives it a nice, nice flavor. You get the cinnamon, you get the allspice. This is really the ultimate drink of winter mm. right there, guys. That is what I'm talking Gotta about. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, Jordan. <laughs> well, speaking of love, Jordan, I think we should, it's time to announce uh, some winners. Ah. What do you guys think? Y'all ready? Let's yeah, I know y'all are ready. Okay, so last week... We gave away, or we gave y'all a chance to win a Rectech Icer Cooler. One of three Rectech Icer Cooler. Your choice. You got the red, white, and blue. America. You got the red and black Wolf Pack. Jordan, oh. there you go. And you also got that camo green. So, the winner of their choice of a Rectech Icer Cooler. 45 quart. Yes, right. Mm, mm, mm. Keeps your drinks cold, cold, and your food hot, hot. For like a week. For like a week, kept <laughs> yeah. ice in that thing. The winner is Ed Pritchard. Woo! Congratulations, Ed. You are the new proud owner of a Rectech Icer Cooler. All we're going to need you to do, Ed, is reach out to us on our Facebook, on our DMs. Hit us up. We'll verify that it's you, and we will get that prize out to you ASAP. Jordan. Ed Pritchett, congratulations, my man. That's what I'm talking about. I love giving stuff away. It really makes me happy because it makes you guys happy. Well, I mean, why don't we give something away today, do you right wanna, here, right now? Do they want us to give something away, Jordan? Well, let me check my check, handy dandy check phone your, here. Check your stuff. Do they want, they may not, they may have been all out of giveaways because it's a new year. Christmas was just here. They may be tapped uh, out. Yeah, they want to give you, they want to uh, They want us to do, do a yeah, giveaway. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do a giveaway then. Uh, Jordan, what should we give away? Hmm, well, John. I'm thinking maybe like a rub and sauce bundle. You know, you can't go wrong with a Rectech rub and sauce bundle. One of everything. Yeah. I think that covers the basics. Yeah, I think so too. And since it's cold everywhere, Jordan, what about an exclusive Rectech hoodie too? Oh, a hoodie and a sauce bundle. Yeah, boy. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, so guys, if you want to enter to win, your chance to win a Rectech exclusive rub and sauce bundle with all of our delicious sauces, barbecue sauces, all of our delicious rubs, heifer dust, Asian persuasion, Roskaruski, uh, what else, screaming pig, freaking Greek. What else, Jordan? Competition. Competition. Rub. Rub. Warm Com apple pie. Come rub. on, y'all. Holla if you hear me. And that awesome, so nice and snug, exclusive Rectech hoodie. All you need to do is share this video. Go in the comment section and hashtag Rectech Lifestyle and you enter to win. And we'll be announcing that winner next Monday at 4 o'clock on peasy. the backyard and beyond. All right, Jordan, so what I did was, because you can't just have fish. No. Like, I, you can't just do fish by itself. Like, it has to have something with it. It's just fish, you know? So what I did, we had some uh, Brussels sprouts laying around in the back. Mm. And we had a little bit of wild rice. So I'm going to show you guys how I would plate this thing up. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this fish off. Oh, it's looking delicious. All right, while I'm, that's cooling for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this other fish off because we don't want this to overcook. Yes. My goodness, looks flaky, delicious. Delicious, Smells Jordan. Smells incredible. Delicious, Jordan. All right, so we're going to pull that fish off. 
Well, let's go ahead and get this stuff plated up, buddy. So this is how I'd do this. I'd take this, right, and just go right over the top. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. How good does that look, you guys? And then I'd take the sauce, right, I'm just gonna go just a little bit right over the top. Oh man, that is a win, win, win. My friends, are you not impressed? I'm impressed. Jordan, are you not impressed? I'm pretty impressed. Come on, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. This was super, super easy, easy dish to make. And it really, it's gonna turn your new year from a zero all the way up to a hero. Does not, does not disappoint that barbecued snapper and mahi, mahi. Jordan, we've got a full week though, right? Oh yeah. I mean a full week. We're coming no, right, we we're coming back at you guys tomorrow with lunch break. That kicks off at 12 on Rec Tech Grill's Facebook page, or Rec Tech's Facebook page, and then at uh, what do we have Tuesday? We have Tuesday tweets oh, at yeah. four o'clock. Oh, yeah. Definitely not going to miss that. That's on Rectech's uh, Twitter page. It's our newest show. It's just a show about quick bites. It's really a lot of fun. Jordan Johnson and I are on there, and uh, you definitely want to tune in. Four o'clock, Rectech's Twitter page, and then Wednesday, the ladies of barbecue are coming at you at twelve o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page, and they're a lot of fun to watch. They are getting a lot better. I mean, they're really starting to get comfortable behind that camera, Jordan. Oh, yeah. They really are. So if you have not tuned into that, make sure you tune in. 12 o'clock, Rectex Facebook page. And then what do we have else on Wednesday? Wednesday at 5 we p.m. That's right. We have after hours, Jordan, me, Chef Greg, and Jody. And we're kicking it about 5 o'clock on Rectex Facebook page. Everybody started to leave the building. We're kicked open, have cut, cracked back cracked open a few <laughs> yes and uh we're having a good time definitely come and hang out with us this wednesday and then thursday we're kicking it off at 12 o'clock on Rectech's youtube page with uh lunch break jody's right. going to be bringing us something delicious and fabulous definitely tune into that and then at four o'clock we have ask us anything probably our most watched show and it's a show all about questions you guys have asked about products you guys want to see more about so we just go in depth about products y'all want to see that kicks off at four o'clock on Rectech's Facebook page, and then 11 o'clock on Rectex Instagram page on Thursday. It is late night munchies time with your boy, <coughs> Chef John. That's right. We're going to have an awesome show this Thursday, and we're going to be back. We've been gone for two weeks, Jordan, so you're going to want to tune in. It's going to be an awesome show. And then we're closing out the week with Friday, 12 o'clock, fun day Friday, on Rectech's Facebook page. We're going to be spinning that wheel of Rectech. We're going to be giving away prizes. It's going to be a great show. You're definitely not going to want to miss that. Now, on that's right. Somebody did win a 700. We're going to be announcing that winner. That's right. Thank you, Sherp. Now, uh, sadly, we are not, are not going to be showing movies the month of January. Bum, 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 bum. I'm so sorry, guys. But we'll be back. Yeah, it's really cool. But we'll be back in February uh, throwing out those hot, hot movies uh, for Rec Tech Movie Night. So definitely keep, uh, make sure you're uh, following us on all social media so you know when that starts right back up again. Jordan, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, one last thing I would yeah. like to share with the audience here. We did get a couple questions about those Brussels sprouts. All John did was season those up. Oh, that's a great question. A little olive oil and uh, Colton's Freaking Greek. Was yeah, it? Colton's Freaking Greek and a little bit of olive oil. I put them on uh, the grill mat, cooked them at 375 degrees. Took about 20 minutes to get them this charry uh, golden brown just delicious. Just roasted them off. And just roasted them off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, remember, I'm burning those Kingsford hickory pellets for that delicious, bold flavor that you've come to know expect from Kingsford that's what I'm talking about all right let me get into some of this because I know y'all want me to try oh yeah some of this fish it looks incredible oh man look at that so flaky so oh. delicious get a little sprout on there why not mm. <laughs> cheers to you America what's the verdict Jordan case closed on deliciousness okay first of all season of perfection the dirty girl and the Asian persuasion is a great blend for you guys when y'all are doing seafood out there, it is perfect. Then you get the buttery, you get a little bit of heat from a crushed red pepper, the garlic and the ginger, I mean, really explode. That lemon juice brightens everything up. I mean, it's a win. It is a win, 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 you guys. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I'm living my best life this 2021. I hope you guys are living your best life in 2021. Guys, if there's ever anything that I could do for you, you ever have a question for me, please reach out to me, chefjohn at rectech.com. There's no question too stupid. 
If there's anything you feel that you want me to weigh in on, just hit me up. I would love to give you my opinion on whatever. <laughs> yes, yeah? he would. I totally would. <laughs> I totally would. Jordan, do you have anything else? I got nothing, man. Happy 2021 to That's everybody right. out there in the Rec Tech family. Thank you for watching. Yes. Yeah, well, guys, like Jordan said, thank you guys so much for watching. We totally appreciate it, and I promise you we're going to be blowing it out this 2021. Make sure you're following RecTech on all social media. You're not going to want to miss out. This is going to be the year, guys, I'm telling you. Well, from everyone here at the Worldwide Headquarters, we want to wish you a happy and safe year, guys. Remember, remember, listen to one another, take care of one another, and never forget, quality of food is quality of life. We'll see you. At, At the, the rec tag. Do, do, do. Thank you, everybody, do, for tuning do, do. in. Ernie Baker, do, what's do, up, buddy? Do. Aaron West. Rec tag lifestyle. You, Set it. Hunter Hodge. Come get it. In. When the sun starts Thanks going for down. Us, folks. Live we'll your see life you the way you like. At it's a rec tag lifestyle.